Welcome everyone, friends and family who have traveled to be with Jacob and Tracy today. Thank you for being here to share this special day. You may all be seated. Jacob and Tracy, love is the force that brings us here today. In fact, the force behind love is the reason for much of what we do every day. Rather than taking time out of our busy schedules to make time for our family, or lending a listening ear to a friend that may need us. Even in our mundane, complacent routines, love is always a force in the reason that drives us in every decision that we make every day, day to day, day, day lives. We're all here to support Jacob and Tracy on their first day as husband and wife. As the two of you go from being two individuals <laughs> to becoming one, where your hearts are joined by marriage, remember the reason behind the force that has joined you. The reason you get up every morning, the reason you want to come home every night, the reason you sacrifice day to day to make each other's life that much better. The reason that you, for all that you do for each other is love. Jacob, let Tracy represent what love is to you. Tracy, let Jacob re represent what love is to you. This mutual love for one another, <coughs> one another will stay strong as long as you invest and cherish it with all of your being. The love between the two of you is alive. It is active, it is dynamic, and it is powerful. Cling to this love during the good times and the bad, through the thick and the thin. Make this love your reason to find strength to choose each other in every moment of every situation you can all the time. A strong and lasting marriage is built on three things. Love, trust, and respect. To truly love, you must enter your life together with vulnerability. If you truly trust, you must enter your life together in good faith and allow freedom and autonomy. If you truly respect, you must both enter your life together, treating each other with reverence. Jacob and Tracy, cherish one another. Never stop doing the small things that convey respect and trust. Help each other, write notes, listen, strive to understand each other, and appreciate one another. Let kindness and tenderness be the rule, not the exception. Remember that you are both in this union of marriage together as a team. Together you will build a life for each other and with each other. Today marks the end of your lives as two individuals and the beginning of your lives as one. Look before you. Each of these, rep each of these bases are filled with soil from both your family homes. They represent your individual lives prior to your meeting. Jacob, the vase on the right is yours. Tracy, the vase on the left is yours. The empty vase in the middle represents your new life together so you will have to fill together. Jacob, do you, on your own free will, take Tracy as your lawfully wedded wife to love her, to protect her, and to cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Tracy, do you, on your own free will, take Jacob as your lawfully wedded husband to love him, to protect him, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. Tracy and Jacob, would you join me, please?
Your empty base represents your new life that you will fill out. While marriage does represent a new beginning, it's also important to recognize that life truly never presents a fresh start. Each of you are coming into this marriage with a wealth of experiences from the past that shape you as individuals. With that being said, life does allow us to continually refine ourselves. When you pour your base into the center base, I want you to think of your new life, of how your life experiences thus far may influence your relationship with your spouse. Take what you have learned from these experiences and apply that knowledge into your new life together. The new life between you is an experience that you're always invited to redefine. Jacob and Tracy, you're welcome to pour your respective bases into the center base. Your individual grains of sand will never be able to be fully extracted from one another. So will your lives forever entwined as one from this point forward. to place Tracy above all others, before all others, and stand true and unmovable in your support for her through all the times of your life. Absolutely. Please. Tracy, do you, Tracy, vow to place Jacob above all others, before all others, and stand true and unmovable in your support for him through all the times of your lives? <laughs> Jacob and Tracy, with these public promises that you have made to each other here today in front of your family and friends in the symbolic exchange of wedding bands, by the power invested in me by the Universal Life Church in the great state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you as good as one. <laughs> <laughs> 